Hello Aries, this is Mystic Goddess with your general reading. Okay, so today we're going to tap into the energy of what is coming toward you for the first half of October of 2020. Now, cross watchers do keep in mind that the energies can be reversed. So this could be actually what um, is coming toward you. Okay, now, um, if you haven't subscribed to the Mystic channel as of yet, to the Mystic Goddess channel, please subscribe. I'd love to have you as a part of the Mystic family. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so that when I post messages from Spirit, you'll get a notification. All right. Also, thank you for to everyone that's been no, donating to, to our channel. I really appreciate it. I thank you from the top and the bottom of my heart, okay? All right, so Aries, I have meditated over the energy and I've shuffled the deck. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so the overall energy of what is coming toward you for the first half of October is the runner. We also have love call, okay? We have butterfly. We also have the healing heart, love. The dragonfly, addiction, separation, karmic relationship, and dates. Okay. All right. So with this energy, okay, I'm telling you right away that someone that you have been dealing with is coming back. OK, now this is someone that um, may have been running from the relationship in the past. OK, this person was running from the relationship because they have some type of fear of intimacy. Also, you may be dealing with someone that has a, a big ego. OK, so this person, they don't like to be vulnerable. They don't like being codependent in relationships. So I feel as though this person has been running from you. OK, now expect to hear from this person. I see that this person may reach out to you with love call here. You see the runner is coming right toward love call. Okay, so this person may definitely be reaching out to you in the first half of October. Now, this is going to be some type of message or a phone call letting you know that they're thinking about you. Okay, for some of you, someone that has been running from you in the past may even be expressing their love to you. Okay, now this person may want to take the relationship to another level. Okay, but there was something going on with this person or there is something going on with them where they need to grow in order for the relationship relationship to evolve for those of you that wouldn't mind reconciling okay for those of you that no longer want anything to do with this person i feel as though you're just going to move on to the next phase because a lot of you are healing okay with healing heart here there's a lot of you that are healing i feel as though the relationship with this runner was very toxic it was something that you a lot of you are just wanting freedom from like you're tired of it you may have been dealing with someone that also have addictions, okay? But at some point, you had unconditional love for this person. I feel as though for some of you, you you do still love this person. You're attracted to them. I feel as though they're attracted to you as well. But this person may be showing you some type of affection in the month of October, okay? I feel as though a lot of you guys have been um, working on loving yourself, okay? Okay? even though you may still have passion for this person. I feel as though before things went a little sour or before this person started running from the connection, I feel as though there was a lot of passion between the two of you, okay? There was a lot of passion. You may have had a lot of unconditional love for this person, all right? For some of you, you may be finding out some information. There's going to be something that comes to light. Now, this could be in regards to someone that has some kind of addiction or has some kind of um, some kind of codependency issues. It could also be in regards to this runner, this person that's been running from you. OK, now I feel like some of you may have already found out things. OK, but. Others of you, you will be finding out something. Regardless, I feel as though you guys are going to be able to adapt and you're still going to focus on healing. Now, whoever this person is, this person has some kind of obsession with you. I also feel as though um, this person is very 
possessive and they actually do have codependency issues, but they try their best to restrain themselves, okay? They, they try their best to restrain themselves. A lot of you may be ending a karmic relationship or some type of a karmic cycle. It may be a karmic cycle or this relationship that you have with this person may have been a karmic relationship. Regardless, I feel as though um, those of you that have been in separation from this person, you miss this person a lot. Okay, you probably or at some point you miss them. This person actually really does miss you and they think about you a lot. Okay, I feel as though this person isn't doing as well as you think they are. And for those of you that are not, not in separation as of yet, you may be unsure of your future when it comes to this person that um, you've been having a, a, a hard relationship with. In regards to this karmic, there's a lot of lessons that need to be learned. One of the lessons is to let go and to love yourself. You may have had a past life connection with this person where this person is teaching you a lesson to not accept anything less than what you deserve, okay? So the lesson in this relationship with this runner, okay, is to let go and love yourself, okay? This person has issues they need to work on. And even if you don't completely separate from this person, you have to let go of control issues and love yourself, focus on yourself, make yourself a priority because this person, they're always going to be running. And that's whether they're with you or whether they're with someone else, this is a runner. Like this is someone that just runs from things, okay? They don't like to, to face um, the reality of things, anytime the, the going gets tough, they're running. Anytime they see something that looks like it might be better, they're running. Like they're always, <laughs> you're just never sure how things are going to go with this person. Okay. Now I see that for a lot of you, this runner or this person you've been having a karmic relationship that with, they may, um, or that you have a karmic relationship with, they actually may want to to go out on a date or at least get together with you, okay? Now, for others of you that are single, you may be meeting someone new, okay? You may be meeting someone new. This person is going to want to spend time with you, okay? So a lot of you are getting back out there after dealing with this, this runner or this karmic relationship. But I will tell you, once you learn your lesson, okay, there's going to be a lot of rewards given to you in regards to love, in regards to finances, in regards to a lot of different things. You're going to, you're going to evolve. You're going to move to the next phase in your life. Okay. So those of you, um, that meet other people, okay. That will be meeting someone new. I feel as though you're going to be spending a lot of time with that new person. Some of you may meet them through a friend or a family member or something of that nature. But you're going to have a lot of fun with this new person and you're going to really enjoy them. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and tap into the tarot. All right. The overall energy of what is coming toward you for the first half of October is the strength card. Okay. So somebody's taming themselves. Somebody's holding themselves back. Okay. Now, there's someone that has been holding themselves back. This is um, Leo energy here. But regardless of the sign, there's someone that's been taming themselves. I feel as though this person um, has a lot of passion for you, but they try to, like I told you before, they try to restrain themselves. Okay. So there's someone that has been trying to restrain themselves that is starting to see things from a new perspective. Now, this is someone that... Um, hasn't been taking a lot of action as of lately, okay? But they're starting to see you for a good man or a good woman. Like, they're starting to see you as someone very abundant. Whoever this is, this person sees you as someone very attractive. They feel as though you're a good mother if you have children. You're a good father if you have... Um, you're a good mother or a good father if you do have children. Some of you, this person may be thinking about having a child with you. Okay, so be careful with that. For those of you that um, are not wanting any unexpected pregnancies, be careful with that because I see this person kind of in their head thinking, well, hey, maybe if I get her pregnant or maybe if I get pregnant by him, that could change things, you know. So be careful when it comes to that if you're not looking to have another child, okay? Now, for others of you, you could actually get into a little bit of drama with your um, if you have children with someone, there could be a, be a little bit of drama, 
Okay, in regards to someone that um, you have kids with, if your person has kids, they may have some drama with with their child's mother or their child's father. Okay, regardless, this person is going to be coming toward you. Okay, they're going to be reaching out to you, and they're going to come in pretty quick. Okay, but the thing about it is, this person's very flighty. Like I said, this is that runner energy. They come in strong and then they leave out fast. OK, so be careful with that. For a lot of you, um, you're going to have a lot of different suitors for those of you that are looking for someone new. For those of you that aren't looking for someone new, I see a lot of people being interested. You have the Knight of Cups here. So there's going to be a lot of different suitors. You also have the King of Pentacles here. So there's someone that's coming toward you that is very... Um, good with finances. This person could actually be in your life for a while. Some of you may be dealing with an, um, an earth sign, a water sign, um, possibly a fire sign. Okay. But regardless, there's a lot of different suitors that will be interested in you. So there's someone from your past coming back, but you're also going to have a lot of other different suitors. And I feel as though one reason this person is coming back to you is because they see you getting attention. OK, they see you getting attention. But whoever this is, this person is very indecisive. OK, this person is very indecisive when it comes to options, because I feel as though they have different options. OK, this is someone weighing their options. They have different options. For some of you, this person is starting to realize that these other options that they had, they're not what they thought that they were, okay? So this person's going to be taking action and communicating with you, okay? And this is someone that may have turned their back on you. You may have turned your back on them, or they may have had you waiting for communication. So if you've been waiting to hear from someone, you're going to hear from them, okay? This person may be taking action to to reach out to you. For others of you, this person is actually waiting for you to reach out. Okay. They're waiting for you to reach out. So keep that in mind. Also for a lot of you, there's someone, this person sees you doing very well. Okay. This person sees you doing very well and it's causing them to be trapped in their head. Okay. Because they're in an energy of lack. Whoever this is, this is someone that um, they hold, they're, they hold back a lot. OK, they hold back information. They hold back their feelings. For some of you, they may have even held back money when you were involved with them, like they were stingy. But regardless, this person, um, they feel trapped in their mind. Like this is someone that thinks very negatively. Like that's why they're always holding back because they're always thinking they're trapped in their head. But like I told you, someone is coming toward you and you're not going to see it coming. Like it's going to happen when you least suspect it. Spirit is also saying to make sure you use your intuition when it comes to this person. Okay. Now we also have the King of Wands here. So we have the Queen of Wands and the King of Wands. So this is a pair. This is a match. We had the runner in the beginning. So some of you may be dealing with a twin flame. Okay. For others of you, there's just like the two of you. This person feels like you're meant for them, okay? Some of them may be even getting messages intuitive, intuitively. I feel as though they don't really know that spirit is sending them messages, but um, they, they're they going to feel the need to come toward you and to come toward you fast. So I see them coming. I see them coming, okay? And this is after a cycle of someone being very you know, just holding back their emotion, someone that may have even been manipulative, someone that may have cut you out or you may have cut them out, someone that's been cold toward you, okay? Especially if you haven't been in communication with this person, I see them giving you attention, okay? I see them giving you attention. Now, for some of you, um, you're going to be doing very well. You're going to be doing very well. I see a lot of success coming to you. Also, um, a lot of you have this Ten of Cups coming, okay? Now, in regards to this Ten of Cups, this person may have promised you that at some point. They may have promised you that the two of you would be together or at least that was something that you thought. But this person is starting to see you as someone that they could grow with, that they can grow old with, that they could be with for a long time, that they could have happiness with. So they're coming back for a relationship or at least some type of a bond or a friendship, okay? And this is coming about because this person has been watching you. They've been watching you. 
They've been watching you, okay? So this person is definitely coming back toward you. Um, like I said, this is someone that has been holding themselves back from you, but there's something they're starting to see different in regards to you. I feel as though they're realizing that they need to take action because they may actually really lose you. Okay. Um, some of you, this could be the mother of your child or the father of your child for, for a few of you. It could be that. Let's see. Um, what the outcome of this will be spirit. What is the outcome in regards to this? Okay, so I don't see it working. The thing about it is a lot of you guys are not going to be interested, okay? You're not going to be completely interested. Even if you are interested, you're not going to trust this person because the problem here is, is, is they have stabbed you in the back numerous times. I feel as though this is not your first go around with this person. This is something that's been happening repetitively. This person has stabbed you in the back repetitively. I feel as though the ending came about because it's something that they did. For some of you, it was the worst that they could have done. Like they, for some of you, you've never even been hurt like this person hurt you by anyone else. No one else has hurt you the way this person has. This person did the worst to you, okay? So that's why a lot of you will not be interested. OK, a lot of you will not be interested. Some of you will choose to continue to walk away or to stay away from this person because you see them as a disaster and you see them as a burden. But guess who's reminiscing? Guess who's um, who's um, realizing that they were wrong? Guess who is regretting the past? That person, because they see you as someone that's very independent. They see you doing fi fine without them. Okay, so that's making this person want to come back together with you for a new opportunity. Okay, this person wants you to work with them. Okay, to have a new start. But the thing about it is you're dealing with someone that's very sneaky. OK, this person's very sneaky. For some of you, they may have dealt with third parties on their job. For others of you, this is just a way of life for this person. Like they like to deal with multiple people. OK, for a lot of you, this person just wants to come back together with you, but it's going to stress you out. OK, it's, it's going to stress you out. I feel as though this is someone they've been stressed out because they did this to you. OK, because they did this to you, they've been they've been stressing. So don't think that this person is sleeping well because they're not. This person is stressing out about reaching out to you, okay? They're, th they're, they're stressing out about that, okay? Now, I do see that for some of you, this person may be keeping a secret from you that they're involved with someone else, okay? Also, for others of you, if you know that there's not a third party involved, um, this person is just holding back their emotion. Okay. They're hiding their true emotions for you. They don't want to face the emotions of, they don't want to face how they truly feel about you. Okay. So yeah, a lot of you will be getting communication in regards to a relationship. This person is going to want to move things along. Okay. They're going to want to move things along. They're going to want a higher level of commitment. Okay. But a lot of you are just really focused on being balanced, focusing on temperancing yourself. You know, you're not going to be giving this person too much. You're not going to be giving them any more than they're giving you. Because I feel as though in the past, um, one of you were were all in, like you had a lot of deep emotion and, and you let that person know. But the other person was very, um, you know, superficial with their with their feelings. OK, they didn't give as they didn't let you know exactly how they were feeling like you did. OK, so a lot of you are 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 going to be focusing on family. A lot of you have good money coming in and that's because you've been balancing yourself. OK, you've been balancing yourself. So a lot of you will choose to just stay um, in separation from this person or possibly end things all together with them and, and go within. OK, you're going to you may isolate yourself from this person. OK, but remember, they're wanting to reconcile. They're thinking about you a lot. They're thinking about the good times, wishing things were like they used to be. OK. They're doing that for some of you. You may have known this person for a long time. You some of you may have known this person since childhood. OK, or you may have met them through a through a through a friend or something of that nature. But regardless. Um. Yeah, this person's thinking about you a lot. 
okay? So, yeah, you have someone coming toward you, someone that stabbed you in the back. I just don't see that things are going to work out, to be honest. I feel like this person's still going to betray you. There's still going to be an ending here. Um, if you were to accept this person back into your life, they're just not going to do right. They still have to grow. Okay. So as in regards to the outcome, there's no need to even pull any more cards because this explains it all. And it came out crossing. So that lets me know that's the problem here. This person's a backstabber. Okay. They're a backstabber. And for a lot of you, you don't even know you you may still be in the dark about some of these backstabbings. Okay. Like, you don't even know how many times they really stabbed you in the back. So, you guys are moving forward. A lot of you are moving forward, okay? All right. So, Aries, that is your reading. If you guys resonated with this, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I love to have you as a part of the Mystic family. I love each and every one of you guys so much. You take care. Be safe. Until next time. Bye.